All right, man, you already know the vibes. You know what today is, man. Today, we checking out the Air Jordan 7 Chambray. And actually, before this sneaker released, I didn't even know I was pronouncing it wrong the entire time. Everybody in my hood call these joints the Chambray. Just for the video, bro, I'm still calling these the Chambray. I didn't know it was wrong. Air Jordan 7, bro. Okay, we gotta keep it a bean. I'm gonna be honest, my wholehearted opinion is this shoe is sitting, I'm gonna tell you why. The Air Jordan 7 Citrus came out, it was a classic, it was one of the best sevens. I think it even looked better than the old pair did, it's still set. When the Ray Allen sevens came out, classic pair. They set this chambray, chambray, whatever you wanna call it, originally released 2006. Now it's finally making its debut back in 2023 and it's only $200, but it's something about the Air Jordan 7 that just don't sit right with me, man. It's like, nobody cares about them, bro. I'm, I'm gonna keep it a bean. By the way, man, subscribe to the channel right now if you haven't already done that, bro. Why are you watching the video right now? What are you doing, bro? Subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button as well, man. It helped the video go a long way. I want to hit the closet, though, to see what Jordan 7s I have, bro, because I really don't have a lot. To be honest with y'all, bro, I think the only Air Jordan 7 I have in my entire collection might be... Where are they, bro? And if you know the box, bro, you already know what 7s these are, and I'm actually kind of like... I'm not too proud to say this, but this is the only Air Jordan 7 I own, which is... The trophy room, Air Jordan 7. I mean, if they if they were to release more Air Jordan 7s, like the original Olympic 7, I would have picked that up because that is one of my favorite Olympic 7s, especially love of the game joints. But like, Jordan 7s, bro, I mean, it's just not, I don't know, bro. I'm, I'm not really checking for them like that. Oh yeah, yeah, can't forget, man, this pair just came in uh, from the Nike sneakers app. I'm probably gonna be doing a review on these soon. If y'all wanna receive a review on the Air Jordan 1 UNC toe, Drop a comment, man. Let me know. I really, really love this sneaker. Review coming soon. I've been in the gym too, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been in the gym, man. Shout out to my boy Unbreakable Kicks. He's been in the gym too. He's been motivating me. He's been locked in, all right? But right today's fit. Very calm, very chill. And it's Robin T, Red Nike shorts. You know what I'm saying? Something, something decent on the feet. I ain't really want to do too much. Speaking of Unbreakable Kicks, he is an actual Air Jordan 7 fanatic. I believe that's his favorite Air Jordan silhouette of all time. I want to call him real quick just to troll him about how bad this shoe gonna do because it's gonna do bad and by the way bro i just be making fun i know a lot of the ogs don't really care about resale if they sell out if they good or not trust me i'm with y'all i just like making fun of people let's see if you pick up bro let's see if you pick up bro hey i was just telling them that you got me hey you got me motivated ready to work out and you on a treadmill right now hey they know where we going or no Nah, they don't know where we going yet they don't know where we going yet so y'all gonna see why we putting in this extra work man stay tuned hey look bro i wanted to hit you man because uh I know Air Jordans is your favorite shoe, bro. I know you love a, a, a Air Jordan 7, but these these chambray is going to be sitting like ducks, bro. I'm going to keep it honest with you. The 7 is over with, brother. You might as well give it up now. I mean, yeah, you know, but the best thing about that is, though, bro, those who really love and respect the Retro 7, it's an easy cop for us. If you're patient enough, you'll be able to get it for less than retail. So it's a win-win for me. This right... The phone posit better than the Air Jordan 7, bro. That's all I'm saying, bro. I'm gonna get with you later, but I just wanted to let you know it's looking bad, bro. All right, man, for the moment of truth, we here in Soul Play to check out the Air Jordan 7 Shine Bray, and let's check it out. First of all, man, we got the box. Now, I was talking uh, to my guy Will behind the desk, and he was saying the box is slightly different from what it was in 2006. 2006, they had the gray box. I don't know if a lot of you guys remember the Air Jordan gray box that used to come out. It had Jordan's face on it with the small circle in the middle, had Jordan across. I would have liked if Jordan Brand was to keep it OG and bring that box back. But to be honest, I haven't seen that box in decades, bro. And that's probably why the last time this shoe came out, it was 2006 when we seen that box. So I'm not really tripping off that. I do think it would have been a cool aesthetic if we're going to bring back a sneaker to kind of do it that way. But let's flip back to the top, man, and see what we got, bro. I can grab it. Wow. Get that lighting on there, bro. In my opinion, I think these are smooth, man. For Air Jordan 7, I would say, because y'all know I was clowning Air Jordan 7s earlier. But I already see a few things right off the back that wasn't like the original release. And I don't want to keep hinting that it's not the original release. Obviously, it's not, right? We know that. But one of the biggest differences I can tell, and he also pointed out that the OG pair had the gray stitching going throughout the entire upper. Kind of like the Air Jordan 7 Citrus that came out. It got the orange stitching going throughout the entire upper. Instead, Jordan Brand decided to change up this release and put the black stitching going throughout the entire upper, which in my opinion kind of 
it makes the upper not have any type of division. It just looked like an all black sneaker. I definitely think that the orange stitching and the citrus makes the shoe pop way more. And gray stitching in this Air Jordan 7 Chambray would make it stick out way more. I mean, will it make it worth copping and not copping? I don't think it's that big of a deal. But for aesthetic wise, or if you just want to look at things that could have been enhanced a little bit to make the sneaker a little bit more desirable, that's number one. That's number one. But I do got to say, the new buck on here is smooth, bro. The new buck feels amazing. And the colorway on this, man. I mean, the blues on this is icy. It looks like an amazing blue that pops off the black, right? And also, look at this blue right here on the back here. And on the full tab. I'm not sure what material this is behind the, behind the tongue or right here on the heel, but it's fire. You see the jump man here on the bottom of the sneaker? You know what? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just give y'all some, some fire B-roll right here on the counter, bro. Right about now. Alright man, now it's time to keep it a bean, right? Y'all seen the B-roll of the sneaker, I kind of broke down the history and even told y'all a little bit about the colorway and the material, but now it's time to keep it a bean, bro. Look, to my Air Jordan 7 guys, bro, I don't know what the Air Jordan 7 needs in order for it to get kind of back in like, I don't know, out of purgatory. Because I mean, look at this, right? The Air Jordan 7 Cardinals. This is another Air Jordan 7. In my opinion, Jordan brand didn't fail on these, bro. Colorway is what we know and love. The material, look at the tumble leather on this, bro. The tumble is crazy, bro. It did a great job. This sneaker still struggled as well, so I don't even think it's the material. I don't think it's the colorways. I don't really think it's the designs. I think fashion is always trendy, right? And I think what's trendy right now are more bulkier, bigger sneakers or even sleeker sneakers. And this Air Jordan 7 silhouette is just not as crazy as it once used to be. However, I, I do want to challenge Jordan Brand to a few things. Number one, I do believe that even though the Air Jordan 7 is not, bro, this is sitting, I'm not gonna lie. It's not gonna sell out. It's gonna sit, it's gonna struggle. I do think it's a cool sneaker, but I think if they release certain ones, and it like, if they was to release certain Air Jordan 7s, and allow it to be like a build up until they get to a point where they do the chambrays, imagine if they drop like a DMP Raptor 7, right? Maybe it'll get a little bit more love or even a Raptor 7 for all I know. Maybe it'll get a little bit more love Maybe even the DMP uh, Maybe even the DMP pack when they had the Orlando 7 with the Raptor 7 in the double box I don't know. Maybe it'll cause a little bit more hype get a little bit more media behind it And then you know what the hype comes to purchase So that's a few ideas. I think that they could have did to make this one a little bit different But y'all can feel free to let me know Your honest thoughts honest opinions about the Air Jordan 7 Sean Braves, bruh, I do think that these things will be sitting and um, just be patient because they're going to go for a lower price than $200. They definitely should be marked down pretty soon and uh, you'll be able to pick these up ASAP. So, hey, that's my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Finally, man, we back at the crib. I'm about to upload this video shortly, but I need to know y'all thoughts and opinions of the new Air Jordan 7 that's dropping. Are you guys picking this up? Is it worth the retail price of $200? Or is the Air Jordan 7 that's extinct and it should put it on pause? I'm leaving it up to y'all, man. Comment down below. Leave a thumbs up on the video. Go a long way. Please subscribe to the channel right now if you ain't already did that, bro. What are you doing if you haven't subscribed? You watched the whole video. I got a lot more like him. Hit the sub button. Everybody want to be famous, but who be putting in that work though? Snipe Squad, I love y'all. Dream big.